All right guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we took a look at creating this hero section and also adding this beautiful sleek interaction. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the next section, which is these popular collections. So let's quickly take a look at how the design looks in Figma. And as you can see over here, we've got um, you know a simple layout uh, in, in the form of a grid. So uh, let's go ahead and start you know building that. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add in a section. Now, the reason you wanna add in a section, as you can see over here, uh, let me just come over here. Um, it says a section is a layout, uh, you know, like a div block with a width of 100%. So it extends the whole width of the browser window. And this is perfect for school, full screen, background images, videos, and other content. So basically, ideally, I would have added a section for the hero set part as well. So, you know, what we can do is actually do that. So I'm gonna press command E or control E and just type in a section. And uh, this section is going to be outside and I'm gonna put the hero wrapper inside, all right? Just put it inside the section. There we go. And you can see, you know, it's, it, it's kind of easy to navigate and organize the structure of your content inside, you know, your web page. So I'm gonna go ahead and in the section, I'm just gonna give it a class, call it hero section. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and import another section. So I'm just gonna type in section, and that's gonna be down here, which is kind of going to be uh, the next section, right? Cool. So the first thing you wanna do is, let's see how we wanna break this apart. We've got a heading, and then we've got four blocks of content. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a heading, all right? So we're gonna bring in a heading, and we're gonna put that heading inside. This is gonna be the H2 tag, so I'm just gonna go, go ahead and call this H2, and let's copy some settings. So we've got Roboto Bolts 30 uh, pixels, all right? So we can just call this Popular Collections, copy and uh, paste, all right? So we're gonna go ahead, call this um, Roboto, and then I'm gonna go ahead and choose Bold, and this is gonna be 30 pixels. So let's go ahead and just set this to 30. Um, the height, we can just set that to 100%. There we go. And the color is going to be 205284, copy that, and then just paste the color. So this is what we have. All right, pretty good. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna add in this grid. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a div block, all right? So I'm just gonna type in div. And as you can see in the hierarchy structure, we've got the section. I'll just rename this. This is gonna be a content uh, section one, okay? And we've got uh, H2, and then we've, we've got to put the div block inside the content section. So it sits inside this content section. This, I'm going to call it uh, content, content one grid, all right? And I can come over here in the display sections and I can set that to grid. So now we're going to get this kind of a grid layout, which, uh, you know, is pretty good. So the way we're gonna build this is, even though there are just two columns, we're gonna assume it's three columns. So one, two, three. So to add another column, I can just come over here and click, which is gonna be, uh, you know, another column. And we have two rows, which is exactly, you know, kind of what we need, perfect. So let's start off by adding some elements. So I'm gonna press Command E, and I'm gonna bring in a div block. And the best part of the grid is it's gonna automatically import the div block inside the first grid. All right, just, it's gonna just gonna put it over here. Now, one thing you wanna make sure or think about is whether it's gonna be clickable or not. So in this case, as you can see, as I hover, the cursor becomes to the finger uh, or the hand uh, you know, icon, which basically means that I can click on it and that's gonna perform some action. It's gonna take me to a new page or it's gonna download something. So what you wanna do is, in case you by mistake import a div block, you can right click you can select convert to link block and that's gonna make it a link block. So now you can go ahead and click on it. Now, since we have, you know, two columns over here and one column, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come over here to the edge. I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna come over here. So which basically means that link block is now taking up, you know, two columns instead of one. And you can also see those settings over here. So the column span is, it takes up the two columns and the row span is one because it's on one row. So if I go ahead and make this two, you can see that the row span changes to number two, but we want it to be one. So, you know, it's gonna be right over here. So let's go ahead and start customizing this. All right, let's add in some content. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna bring in this iPhone image. So here in the, um, let's see, let's go to the background section. 
I'm gonna go ahead and choose an image and it is going to be this iPhone image, all right? And click on that. Uh, I'm gonna go and set it to cover. Um, I'm gonna set it to center and I'm gonna uncheck tile, all right? So this is how it, you know, it kind of looks. Actually, we can go ahead and set this to 2X and you know, uh, the width is 345, we can just um, leave it like so. Now the thing is, it's kind of cramped up over here. So let's go ahead and uh, you know, bring in some content. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and just set the height of this to 43, which is, oh, sorry, we wanna select this one, which is 400 pixels. So I'm gonna select the link block and uh, I'm gonna set this to um, go to the height and set that to 400 pixels. And this is what we have, all right? It looks pretty okay to me. And then we're gonna bring in some content. So I'm gonna go ahead, press command E and I'm gonna add in a heading. This is gonna be H3, so I'm just gonna call this uh, H3, all right? And now we're gonna go ahead and you know start customizing this. So I'm gonna copy this, um, paste, all right? And um, set this to uh, Roboto, we've got bolds, and the font size is 40, so I'm gonna set that to 40. Height, I'm gonna set that to 100%, pretty good. Now we're gonna get rid of the underline. So I'm gonna click over here to get rid of the underline or we can select the entire link block and we can get rid of that and that's gonna get rid of uh, you know the underline for all the text inside. Perfect. Let's copy this color and we can go ahead and um, paste this color. Pretty good, that's looking neat. Great, next we have some other text over here which says five files and you know, the icon with the download size. So the way to do that, I'm gonna select these two or actually select uh, this whole section which is the subtitle wrapper. Copy that, come over here and paste. All right, so this is where we want to have it. So I'm just gonna call this um, five files and here uh, I'm just gonna give it a 63 MB, just a random number, all right. Pretty good, um, that's looking cool. The next thing is we have this paragraph text. So I'm gonna go ahead, copy this paragraph and uh, I'm gonna paste it over here. Now this is, you know, we're gonna change this. So I'm gonna duplicate the class and instead of hero paragraph, I'm gonna call this content paragraph. There we go. And uh, let's um, make this 20 pixels instead of 24. Yeah, maybe you can give this a height of 150%, which is fine. Let's just copy this information, uh, copy the text actually, paste that over here. Uh, the color obviously is a darker color, so copy that color as well. We're gonna paste the color. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the width and I'm gonna reset it because I want it to span you know, the entire boundary of the div block. In this case, it's the link block. Okay, so now we have all the content, but it isn't fitting, you know, perfectly and properly. So how are we gonna do that? So basically, these two are together and this is separate. So we're gonna fit this into a div block and we're gonna keep this, you know, alone by itself. But what, one thing we wanna do is, you know, make sure we have some good amount of spacing. So probably around 24 pixels um, at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, set this to zero and set this to 24. So we have 24 pixel, you know, spacing at the bottom. I'm gonna press command E, get the div block, all right? And now I'm gonna take the H3, put that in. I'm gonna take the subtitle wrapper and put that in as well. Um, so if we wanna check, so we've got a div block and then you've got the H3 and then you're gonna put the subtitle wrapper inside like so. And then we have the content wrapper, which we don't want in the div block. So I'm gonna pull that out, all right? And I'm gonna bring it down. So basically what I've done is I've created two big boxes. So we have, we've got the link block, which is the biggest parent. Inside that we have one div block, which contains the heading and the subtitle. And then we have another, which is the content paragraph. So why am I doing this? The reason I'm doing this is because I can space this out using flex, all right? I can just push them to the either ends of uh, the container. In this case, it's the link block. So to do that, I'm gonna select the link block, all right? And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this to flex, all right? So um, now it moves it from horizontal because we set the direction to horizontal, but we want it to be vertical, all right? So we're gonna set it to vertical, and here in the justify, we're gonna say space between. And so that's gonna go ahead and push things, you know, completely to the either edges of the container. 
Now here, this isn't going to the complete edge. That's because we've had, we have some margin over here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to zero. And now, uh, you know, it's sitting right to the edge. But here we have some spacing, obviously. So as you can see, we have around 40 pixel spacing on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead, select the link block and add an inner padding of 40 pixels on either side. So 40 on the top, left, right, and on the bottom, bottom as well. And that looks much, much better. All right, so the next thing is we have this kind of a, you know, stroke. So if I go here and select it, you can see we have some strokes. I'm just gonna copy that. So I'm gonna select the link block and let's go to the borders. And I'm gonna give it a, a width of one. All right, and uh, set the color of this to this, whatever the color we picked. All right, so now we can see it. Maybe we can increase it to two, which is fine, which is pretty neat. And also we wanna give it a rounding of 20 pixels, as you can see. So let's go to the radius and set that to 20 pixel rounding. And uh, if I go and check it out, this is how it looks, all right? Uh, it looks uh, pretty cool. Still so many things we have, we have to do to fix this. So the first one, is to give it some spacing over here. So if I go check this out, uh, we've got a spacing of 50 pixels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, the section, you know, the main section, which is the content section one. I'm gonna give it padding of 50. So it pushes the content a little bit down. All right, this is, it's gonna be a little bit down. And also below popular sections, we've got around 20 pixels. So probably with the H2, um, I can set the margin of this to zero and probably around uh, 24 pixels uh, down. So it kind of looks like this. And maybe I can, you know, just uh, reduce the um, border of this to probably one pixel, maybe two is too much. So this is what we have. But as you can see, this is, you know, in the center and, you know, it's aligning with, uh, you know, the hero section, but in this case, that's not happening. So how do we do that? So it's pretty simple. What we can do is we can select, uh, you know, under the content section one, I'm gonna add in a div block, all right? Just add in a div block. So it's gonna be a parent. And I'm gonna name this div block content one wrapper. So this is like the main guy, all right? This controls everything. I'm gonna put the H2 inside and also the content grid inside. And for the content wrapper, I'm gonna go and give it a width of, um, you know, if we put in these together, this is 1000 pixels. So I'm gonna go to the width and set that to 1000 pixels. And I'm gonna go ahead and click here, which is going to, you know, move the content into the center. So it kind of looks like this. So if I come over here, you can see um, this is what we get. It's looking pretty good. So the next one is we're gonna have to recreate uh, this part as well. So it's pretty simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this link block, make a copy by pressing Control C, Control V, and that actually pushes it down below to the bottom. All right, so as you can see, we've got link block one and link block two. I'm gonna take this link block and drag it over here, all right? So, um, now if it doesn't work, the quickest way to fix that is to click on column span three, which is gonna be over here. Oh, sorry, column span one, and that's just gonna fit it. So we've got one column and one row, and that's pretty much it. So we can quickly go ahead and change the content. So we're gonna call this um, video files. We've got 30 files. Um, we can make it, uh, you know, like 6.1 GB, all right? And each video is accompanied by, you know, whatever this text we have. We can just select that and paste it over here. And uh, that's looking, uh, you know, pretty good. So we gotta have to change this image. So here is something that, you know, um, a mistake that a lot of you people do. And I'm gonna show you how, what this mistake is and how you can fix it. So obviously we don't want this we want it to be a different you know, image. So if I go here and go to the uh, image, I can click on choose image and let's choose this one. Now, as you can see, as soon as, as soon as I hover, it changes the image for this as well. Why is it doing that? It's pretty simple. It's because the link block has a class applied and this also has a class applied to it. And you know, if I change the properties of one, it's gonna change the properties of other. So here is the solution for that. You're gonna click on the link block and you just wanna add in a combo class. So a combo class basically is another class which has another set of properties, all right? So I press one, all right? You can see that it took the original, you know, the iPhone image that we had, 
all right? So, so the properties that are attached to one is only this image gradient, all right? This image that we have. So if I come over here to link block and I set that to two, all right? And then I go ahead and change this image to this. It doesn't change this one because over here, this is link block one and two combo class. And here it is link block and one combo class. So basically this another, this secondary class, which is one and which is two is holding certain properties. And in this case, the property is this image. So that's what this is all about. Now, I think this content paragraph um, maybe is has a too much spacing. So probably one thing I would do is probably reduce down the height of this to 120%. Uh, percent. And you know, that should, you know, kind of uh, slow things down. Maybe uh, even 20 is too much. So probably I would reduce that down to 16 or 18. All right, so we can see that this image is easily visible. Maybe 140% um, should, you know, do the trick. Pretty good. So now that we have these two, uh, we can go ahead and create the other two, which is these two. So what we can do is we can select this link block, make a copy pressing Control C, Control V, and that's gonna push things down. And I'm gonna select this link block, Control C, Control V, and that's gonna push it down. So things are getting a little messed up over here. So one thing you wanna do is, let's say that we go back, you know, let's just take things slowly. So Control Z, Control Z, we have this link block, all right? I'm gonna make a copy, all right? And press Control C, Control V, all right? And that thing pushes it down. So this link block, uh, the secondary one, we actually want it to be manual. So as soon as I click manual, you can see that things change up a little bit, all right? So basically I'm giving manual control and I can say when it's gonna start and when it's gonna end. So I want it to start on column two and I want it to end on column three. Oh, sorry, not 23, column three. There we go, that's super cool. And it's gonna start on row two and end on row two. That's it, it's super simple. Let's try the same thing for this one. I'm gonna copy this and paste it and it's gonna go right here. And it's set to auto right now. So these numbers are kind of not correct, but it's getting the job done. So if you set it to manual, you can see what happens. It starts on column one and ends on column one, which is right here. And it starts on row two and ends on row two right over here. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it to auto because we don't wanna mess things up. Great. Now for this link block, I'm gonna get rid of this two and add in a three. And here we have um, EPUB files. So I'm going to go to the uh, image, choose image, click on this this one, which is pretty good. And here we have this Mac. So I'm gonna select the link block and change this to four. And uh, let's choose the image, choose image. Let's choose uh, the Mac Pro. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too much. So we can reduce down the width to something like 250 or maybe even 200 is fine. So uh, that's what we have, pretty good. So quickly I'm gonna go ahead and just copy these values and then we can go ahead and paste it. Sorry, not values, the text, I'm sorry. So copy and then we can come over here and then paste, uh, let's do the same thing over here. Copy, all right, and then paste and then copy and then paste. Done, perfect, awesome. So now that we've finished this, we can go ahead and add in some nice interactions. As you can see over here, we've got some shadow and then we have the image scaling, same as this. So I'll see you guys in the next video.